mean, you know, it's uh, never traded lower in its uh, traded history. Thank you very much uh, for that. That's an interesting call from Macquarie on delivery from uh, Nimesh. Uh, now, Avenue Supermarts, let's revisit that. There are downgrades. Mangalam, over to you. Well, the halo around DMART is uh, seeming to wane off after these numbers because the gross margins and EBITDA margins are at a seven-quarter low. Revenue per square feet is still below pre-COVID levels. And the company said that discretionary non-FMCG products haven't, you know, bounced back or not done as well as they expected it to do. So as a result of which, we've seen uh, multiple downgrades on the stock. Uh, we start with Novama. They've cut the target valuation to 55 times EV to EBITDA from 60 times earlier. Morgan Stanley has downgraded to equal weight. They've cut the target price from 4,600 or to around 3,850 as well. And we've seen UBS, uh, which was already a seller in the stock, they further cut their target price from 3,700 to 3,500. However, just keep an eye out on a couple of things. They've expanded their e-commerce operations in four more cities. Now uh, it's doing about 250 crores per quarter in terms of revenue. So let's see how that pans out. And they're also in process of commencing a pharmacy shop and shop. So could that support their and augment their revenues going forward is something we have to see. But revenue is not as much a problem as margins are. So let's see how that pans out. All right, uh, Mangalam, thanks very much uh, for that. Avenue Supermarts. One more name 